Well, we are continuing on. I think this is video eight, if I remember correctly. And of course, this is page four. May I use a calculator on page four. Um, the start of page four, this is, I should say. So write triangle trigonometry. You'll spend time next year on this also uh, in uh, geometry, or honors geometry, I should say. So, given a right triangle, how do you find the missing parts? So, there's things we know. We know that, um, that Pythagoras... That leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared if it's a right triangle. We know that when you add up the angles inside the triangle, it adds up to 180. And we also know trigonometry. So I have three problems. One problem you can't see, haha. -ha. So uh, let's get to it. This first one. Now, I actually like to make a little drawing. Don't have to, but I like to. B, C, and uh, opposite the angle is the lowercase letter. So uh, we know this is 40 degrees. So I know angle B has to be 50 uh, because these uh, two add up to 90. Remember, they're complementary. So, hey, that was easy. Now, I also know A is 10. So, okay, I'm going to do tangent is opposite over adjacent. So, I know tangent of 50 degrees, angle B would be the opposite side, I don't know, over the adjacent side, I do know, A, and that is 10. So I just cross multiply, it's 10 times the tangent of 50. Now, if you're doing decimals, make sure you're in uh, degrees. Now, I have just a cheap little calculator here. So, I'm going to use it. And let's see. 10 times. See, 10 times tangent. And I can't see because I got my stupid glasses on. Of 50 degrees. And they give me the answer, 11.91. Now, or you'd round it to 11.92. Let me clear it. Now, we could do Pythagoras, no problems. Uh, in fact, I am going to do Pythagoras. 10 squared plus 11.9, or what did I have? 9, 2 squared equals C squared. I'm running into the next problem. Mercy. So 10 squared is 100. 11.92 squared is 142.09 uh, if you round it. So I'm going to add 100 to it, 242.09. Then I need to take the square root of that. So it'd be the square root, oh, here we go, of 242. Point oh nine, and I get fifteen point five six. Hey, hey, hey! Now you could have used trigonometry, whatever makes you happy. So here we have another triangle, 
A, B, C. This would be A, this is C, this is B. We're told that B is 10 and C is 12. So let's find angle A. I'm going to do adjacent and hypotenuse, which is cosine. So cosine angle A is 10 over 12. So now, on this calculator, we hit shift cosine of 10 divided by 12. And I get 33.56. So 90 minus that would be 56.44. Then uh, side A, uh, I'm going to go sine of angle A is A over 12. So sine 33.56 is A over C, because sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cross multiply, so I get 12 times sine 33.56. And I get 6.6 6 3. Boy, was that fun. Uh, so right now, do this problem and then turn me back on. So, hopefully you got all three right. So, I would do Pythagoras myself. Don't have to. Whatever makes you happy. So, that would be 36. 6 squared is 36. 10 squared is 100. So, that's 136 is C squared. So, the square root of 136 is 11.66. Now, I always like to round to the hundredth. Now, uh, I'm going to do tangent because we have opposite and adjacent. So, tangent of A is opposite over adjacent. So, uh, shift tan, uh, six divided by 10. Could have did point six, I guess, if I was awake. So I get 30.96. So this would be 59.04. I hope that's what you got. Woo. Hey, it's getting close to the end. I think probably two more videos it looks like, but we'll see. Have a good day.